Club SYD. I talked about that earlier. Mm. You know, this is my club time right now. Uh, when I do have some free time, I've been reading uh, Will, uh, mm -hmm. Will Smith's new memoir, uh, revealing a lot of things there. And uh, leading up to the book, uh, Will and Jada shared a lot, you know, from Red Table Talk about uh, their, their, their marriage, mm -hmm. which has been going you know, for a while now. And they revealed a lot of things, especially their sex life. Well, uh, I don't know if you've seen this or not, Naja, but there's a petition going around uh, where they're trying to get, I think, 5,000 signatures for them to stop talking about their sex life. Well, how do you feel about that? All right, so this is on, I think, change.org. Uh, right now, it's got 2,500 signatures and counting. And first of all, I want to know, like, who even does this? Who creates a petition? I mean, mm -hmm. this, I feel like this person has too much time on their hands. Um, but hey, look, who is to judge? I feel like to each their own. We all have a right to put down our phones. We don't have to read it. I think whatever works for them, they've been married for, I don't know, more than 20 something years. And in Hollywood years, that's like <clears> 200 <throat> years, right? So, yep. yeah, so it's like, if it works for them, I say whatever floats your boat. I'm a very live and let live kind of person. So it doesn't bother me. I, I, ha I don't have his book yet. I will get it. I would like to read it. Um, but if they're comfortable putting it out there, maybe they're helping other people. Um, I actually like their transparency. So yeah, it doesn't bother me. What do you think? Yeah, I don't, I don't understand why people allow that to bother you. Like right. you said, you have a choice. You don't have to listen to it. You don't have to read it. You know, usually it's the headline, Jill, Jada talking about mm -hmm. Tupac and Will saying he's had so much sex that he got nauseous at times or whatever. And all. Oh, look, you know, if, know if you don't want to hear about that stuff, you ain't got to listen to it. Yeah, he did say he had that much. I mean, I've never gotten to that point, too. But it <laughs> sounds like somebody who's probably uh, not getting a lot themselves, <laughs> that they got that much time <laughs> to talk about somebody, to talk about somebody else's sex life, to stop them from talking about their sex life, uh, to try and get that many petitions. And, you know, once again, you need to get yourself a girlfriend or a boyfriend yourself uh, to be able to have yourself a good time, too. Uh, like you said, it, I think it's refreshing. We always look at these entertainers and mm -hmm. for years will and jada people just throwing out you know what kind of relationship they had you right know, was it this type of relationship yes. and making all this speculation and so people wondered about it and now they're being transparent mm -hmm. about it and now there are some people out there that want them to stop talking about it so you're damned if you do you're damned if you don't and for them to come out and be transparent about it maybe that's part of their healing and then maybe that's part of their therapy and it helps them with their relationship so like i said you have a choice they have a choice to talk about it you have a choice not to listen to it if you don't want to listen to it turn the channel or turn off your social media or just block them all together yeah and you know you mentioned there had been rumors i mean i remember years and years ago um hearing speculations you know through the grapevine about the dynamics of their relationship um, and, you know, people in the Hollywood world would, would speculate or say, here's the real deal. Mm -hmm. um, and so now they're, they are putting it all out there. So people wanted to know. Um, and now they're being transparent about their situation and their life. And, uh, hey, I, being married 20 plus years is a tremendous accomplishment, right? Um, most marriages don't last that long. So, hey, maybe... Maybe they know mm -hmm. something we don't. Um, I, I don't know if I could ever be that open, uh, that much of an open book, but I certainly like praise to people who are, are comfortable with that and um, you know, are comfortable putting themselves out there like that if, if that's what they want to do. I, I did. And, I'm reading know, it. I, I love it. I memoir. love what you do. Oh, love thank you. you. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. So it's, uh, you know, and I put it out there and like I said, you have a choice to read or not. But now for me, once again, it was part of my therapy mm. and the things that I mm -hmm. put in my book, I needed to write. It wasn't anything that was salacious to talk about. Oh, I did this and how much I did that or whatever. It had nothing to do with that. It had a meaning to me and how it affected my life and how I had to overcome those effects. And maybe Will and Jada are doing the same thing once again. And once again, if certain people don't like it, which, you know, some people are uncomfortable hearing other people talk about their sex life, there are so many other people out there that do want to hear this. 
And that is the reason why it's getting the headlines because Will and Jada are being very transparent about it. And if they want to do that, once again, enjoy yourselves. Enjoy yourselves in private and enjoy yourselves in public. If you want to talk about Will and Jada, we're going to listen to it. I'm going to listen to it, as a matter of fact, until it gets too too much and y'all might get mm-hmm. jealous. 